e-commerce. The process of buying and selling goods or services online is called e-commerce. The e-commerce is also known as electronic commerce. It allows people to sell or buy goods and services from their homes. Not only sale or purchase of goods or services, transaction of money, funds and data are also considered as e-commerce. To use all these services, you must have an internet connection. Nowadays, we can also use all these services from our smartphones. The most commonly used websites to sell or purchase goods are www.amazon.in, www.flipkart.com, www.paytm.com and www.olx.in. Advantages of e-commerce E-commerce has several advantages. Some of them are it allows us to sell or buy our products or services over the country and around the world. It allows us to choose a product from a broad range of products. It saves our money and time. It allows us to sell or buy products and services at any time. Disadvantages of e-commerce E-commerce provides several advantages, but it also has some disadvantages which are as follows. There is no assurance of the quality. There are high possibilities of online fraud. Modes of payment. All the e-commerce websites provide various modes to make payment of the product or service that you want to buy. Some of them are as follows. Debit or credit card. E-commerce websites allows us to make payment by using our credit or debit card. We make payment by using the debit card which will be debited from the bank account. We must have a sufficient balance in the bank account to complete the transaction. In case of credit card, we are provided with a credit limit by the bank which we can use to purchase products. To avoid the online fraud, each credit or debit card has a three digits unique secret card verification value. CVV number on the back side of it. Now, bank also sends a one-time password OTP on your registered mobile number to verify the authenticity. Net Banking We can directly use the bank account to make payment online. Every bank provides a unique customer ID or net banking ID and a PIN to each customer of the bank. With the help of the customer ID and PIN, customer can make payment while purchasing the products from e-commerce websites. Similar to credit or debit card, an OTP received on the registered mobile number in case of net banking. E-wallet E-wallet or electronic wallet refers to a digital wallet that is used to make payment online. We need to add money from the bank account to the e-wallet before using it. Most of the e-commerce websites provide their own e-wallet. Some banks also provide e-wallet to their customers. Some third-party organizations also provide payment support to their customers. Google Pay, Paytm, PayPal, Bheem, PhonePay and Airtel Money are the most commonly used payment service providers. PSP Cash on Delivery, COD most of the e-commerce websites allows us to make the payment by cash while receiving the product at your residence. Online Shopping The process of purchasing products online is called online shopping. You can purchase almost everything online. We must have registered with the e-commerce website from which we want to buy products. We have learned about e-commerce websites and payment modes till now. Now, let us learn how to purchase products from an e-commerce website. To purchase products from an e-commerce website, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the web browser such as Microsoft Edge. Step 2. Type the Uniform Resource Locator URL of the website in the address bar of the web browser. In this case, we have typed www.flipkart.com. 
then press the enter key from the keyboard the home page of the flipkart will appear we need to first sign in with our username and password step 3 enter the search keyword related to product in the search text box and click on the search button or press the enter key from the keyboard a list of related products will appear step 4 choose the product and check its detail by clicking on it step 5 after checking all the details click on the add to cart button if you want to buy some more items or buy now button if you want to check out step 6 next page will ask personal information such as name delivery address mobile etc after entering the required information click on the save and deliver here button step 7 Next page allows us to review our order. After reviewing the order, click on the continue button. Step 8. Next page will ask the payment mode to which we want to make payment. In this case, we have selected the credit slash debit slash ATM card option. Enter the 16 digits card number, validity and CVV number which are printed on the credit slash debit or atm card after entering the card details click on the pay button step 9 next page will ask the one time password or verified by visa password which will receive on the mobile number registered with the bank after entering the otp or password click on the submit button A confirmation message will appear displaying that our order is placed on the website. 